Okay. Wait, Mama. All right. This afternoon, the uh, good evening. My name is Trixie Angeles for Luminous and FB. This afternoon, the National Food Authority Council, the National Food Council, uh, had a meeting, and in that meeting, decided that uh, they did not agree with the president's decision. The president, if you will recall, understood na wala na pong bigas doon sa warehouses ng NFA. Uh, at the rate that the NFA provides rice to compete to the rice traders, they have only about two days left. However, there is enough supply of rice uh, if ever the NFA judiciary judiciously holds it for about 32 days or so, given current rice stocks in the market. Ano ibig sabihin ito? Well, uh, in the NFA Council decided na, oh, hindi ka na nakalimutan mag-lipstick. Okay, nag-decide po ang NFA Council ngayon na hindi daw sila susunod dun sa ating Pangulo to the letter. Uh, Nag-order ang ating Pangulo ng importation ng bigas para hindi po ma-zero yung rice stocks ng NFA. Bakit kailangan po ng NFA na meron silang rice stocks? Ayon sa batas, kailangan meron silang buffer for about 30 days during lean months at 15 days uh, during uh, harvest season. Harvest season po ngayon, pero right now, ang rice stocks sa uh, NFA are up to, down to 2 days. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Kapag po nagkaroon ng calamity, we will be able to provide rice for uh, for uh, to a limited extent only for calamity victims. Uh, pero kung for the market, you can only uh, provide rice at current consumption rates for about two days uh, if there are no uh, competing... Uh, no. Yung two days po na yun, we have to explain the computation here. First, those two days means that if NFA were the sole provider of rice or uh, palay in the market, there would only be two days supply. If, given the current market rates, madami pong bigas dun sa merkado, ibig sabihin, meron pang up to 32 days na rice stock. Pero according to the law, yung kailangan na buffer is if the NFA were the sole provider of rice in the market, then kailangan meron siyang 30 days supply or uh, during lean months at 15 days kapag uh, current uh, rates like there is no shortage or there is uh, a harvest season during harvest season. Ngayon, ang sinasabi ng NFA Council, o oh, sige, magi import tayo for the NFA, pero we will do it later. Binigyan ng authority ang NFA administrator na mag uh, to, to begin the negotiations for importation, but the importation will not be allowed until much later so that yung bigas ay dadating sa June or July pa. Which means, in the month, since 32 days lang ang supply ng NFA rice given the current market, then by April and May, wala pong NFA rice at all. Zero talaga. Ibig sabihin niyan, ang rice traders natin, walang kompetensya from the NFA. Pag walang kompetensya ang rice traders natin from the NFA, magkakaroon ng artificially high prices ng rice. Kaya nga po ngayon, given the low stocks of NFA rice at dahil hindi na nagpo-provide ang NFA dun sa merkado, mataas ang presyo ng bigas ngayon. Mataas ang presyo ng bilihin ng bigas. Now, ang market participation po ng NFA, ibig sabihin, ang NFA, since it provides to the DNE market, will affect about 10 million people kasi sila po ang bumibili ng NFA rice dito sa DNE. It, the, the NFA is not able to provide all the needs of the entire DNE uh, sector of society. But it provides enough rice para kompetensyahin yung mga traders natin. Yung kompetensya na ito is what keeps the rice prices low. Pag nag papa, nagbibig, nag, nagbibenta ng bigas ang NFA sa merkado, yung napipilitan magbaba ng presyo yung mga commercial traders natin kasi uunahin talagang bilhin ang NFA rice. Uh, doon pupunta po yung mga low-end buyers ng rice. At uh, also, the NFA provides rice sa DSWD. 
Anong implication dito? Ngayon na din define ng NFA Council yung utos ng presidente. For April and May, there will be no competition. There will be high prices of rice and there will be about 10 million people who will be affected. And these 10 million people are in the DNE uh, sector. And this is the president's primary political base. So anong maapektuhan? Bukod sa about 10 million people will go hungry or will be severely affected because the prices of rice are going to be high, is going to be high, then maa-affect yung uh, kanilang expenditures, maa-affect yung ano. And it also increases the poverty rate. So, bakit mahalaga ang NFA rice? Kasi nga, without the NFA rice, walang competition ang commercial traders. During today's meeting with the NFA Council, very clearly nag-decide ang Council in favor of the commercial traders. Binibigyan nila ng free pass ang commercial traders from April and May to set their prices regardless. At never mind kung merong magugutom, never mind kung uh, this defies the President's order. Ang sinasabi dito ng NFA Council, Sige, susunod kami sa inyo, Mr. President, pero not right now. Bakit? Bibigyan natin ng free pass yung mga commercial traders. Sinasabi, originally, why can't the NFA, why does the NFA have to import? The NFA is limited in purchasing power to only 17 pesos, and this is by law. The LEDAC has set the price, of, the buying price of the of NFA at 17 pesos. If the NFA buys from our local farmers at 17 pesos, where production is pegged at about 19 pesos per kilo, lugi ang farmers night din. It is harvest season, marami pong bigas. Pero ang bumibili niyan, pinapabayaan natin ang mga traders, commercial traders na bumili from our local farmers so that mataas ang presyo. Dahil ang NFA, mababa po bumili. So, because other countries are more efficient in their production of rice, maaari nating bilhin ang bigas at 17 pesos per kilo from another government, using a government-to-government -government transaction. Sabi ni Ying Li Polon, why can't heads roll? Can't the president fire them? Instead po, kami po NFA, but, but konti. Uh, I agree, the president really should fire, pero the NFA council is made up of several people. Uh, mga ex-officio members ito. Uh, it, this is headed by Cabinet Secretary Leoncio Evasco. The other members, uh, and who is the uh, chairman? The assistant chairman, the deputy chairman of the NFA Council is uh, the administrator of the NFA, si Jason Aquino, who has opposed uh, it, who has uh, promised to carry out the president's order and oppose the voting by the majority of the council today. Sino pang ibang members? The governor of the Banco Central. Uh, ang governor po ng Banco Central today told the council, bakit hindi pwedeng bigyan na lang natin ng pera ang DSWD para dun sa mga calamity victims para yung DSWD BBD, bibili na lang sa merkado. Ito yung problema. It is as though the government is sponsoring the buying of rice from commercial traders. This means na para tayong, nag, ano, para tayong tumutulong dun sa mga commercial traders na hindi naman natin gusto na magkaroon ng stranglehold on the market. But that is what is going to happen if we will follow what the central bank governor has suggested. Uh, furthermore, uh, Ang deputy governor din, siya actually yung nag-mention ito. He, he is the alternate member of the NFA Council. Si the Development Bank of the Philippines uh, chairman is also a member of the NFA Council. Director ng DBP, member din ng NFA Council. Land Bank of the Philippines, uh, Department Secretary ng, uh, ng DOF, uh, the National Treasurer under the Department of Finance, the Secretary of Trade and Industry, the Secretary of the NEDA, and uh, one of the members is also the Executive Secretary. So, paano ngayon sisisantihin ng Pangulo natin lahat ng mga ito? The NFA Administrator also requested from the Council to increase the buying power of the NFA to from more than 17 pesos para makakabili din from the farmers at makumpitensya yung mga 
rice traders so that pagka bumibili sa farmers, mas competitive yung prices. Hindi rin pumayag ang NFA Council. Sabi ni Rufi Lokia, can't the president just replace the stupid NFA head? The head of the NFA Council, kasi po hindi magkasundo yung head ng council at saka yung administrator. Yung administrator po yung nag insist to comply with the president's order and import rice right away para makumpitensya yung mga traders and rice prices won't go through the roof. The problem is the NFA Council is headed by June Evasco, who is also the cabinet secretary. Bakit pinoprotektahan ng NFA Council ang mga rice traders? Because these are finance people. And right now, ang focus nila is actually on the consumer side. Instead of, well, not just not on the consumer side, but on the production side, on the business aspect side. So, pinoprotektahan talaga nila ang commercial Uh, the rice as a commercial commodity. Hindi nila naiisip na ang bigas is part of the anti-poverty program of the president and there are real lives that are affected by prices of rice. 10 million people are going to be affected because they are the ones who rely on NFA rice. Now they will have to buy what higher rates from the traders. Ang layo ngayon. In fact, yun ang nire-raise na alarm ng NFA. If wala ng stock ang NFA, tataas talaga ang presyo. That is why the prices are high. Anong ginawa ng NFA Council kanina? Pinagalitan nila ang NFA administrator because bakit daw, why did he make it public daw na mababa na daw yung rice stocks ng NFA? Sabi nila, it was causing panic. But because the NFA administrator raised it, the president has agreed to allow the NFA to import cheap rice so that ma-control ma, ma yung rising prices. Instead, pinagalitan ng council ang NFA administrator. Sabi ni Peter Serrano, karamihan kasi ng rice fields have been turned into subdivisions. Dapat i-modify ang law on agrarian reform. Uh, I agree. Pero tandaan nyo, ha, sino ang head ng Committee on Agriculture sa Senado? It's Cynthia Villar. And who is the biggest buyer of rice lands that are being turned into subdivisions? I'll give you a wild guess. Sabi ni Eram Ana GB, if that is the case, can they be fired? Well, some of them occupy positions that have fixed terms. So if they're going to be fired, they have to be fired for cause. This is, yes, this is cause, but here is the problem. Even if the president fires all of them, what we need is to overrule the decision of the board defying the president's order. So the only way we can do that is to pressure them into reversing that order. They are guaranteeing that for the months of April and May, meron talagang magugutom at meron talagang yayaman. Sabi ni Anne Elizalde, can the NFA increase the amount to buy rice from 17 pesos to 20 pesos? Yes, they can if the NFA Council votes to do so and the LEDAC approves it. But the NFA Council has not voted to do so. The problem is, gusto nga natin tanggalin ang NFA Council but they are there by law. At itong mga members nito are ex-officio members and they are there because they are heads of the, their particular agencies. Sabi ni Gian, can farmers sell their palay directly to the NFA? Yes, but under limited conditions. The NFA can buy only a very specific type of rice. Uh, it has to be clean, a certain amount of moisture only, uh, and uh, you know, at 17 pesos per kilo only. If they divert, if they uh, buy rice that is not clean, that does not have a certain moisture content, uh, that is not fresh, makukuha sila. So, ang daming ano, restrictions dun sa pagbili ng bigas directly, uh, directly from the farmers. Sino yung nagsasabing abolish the NFA? Do you understand what you're saying? The NFA is the only thing that stands between hunger and the ri rice prices going through the roof. This is ridiculous. The NFA is supposed to be able to be empowered to help bring rice prices down so people will not starve. Taking out the NFA is ridiculous because what you're saying is you'll just let the market control the prices. And if you do that, you're going to have a lot of people going hungry.
sabi ni Maria Angela Candig, paudit na lang yung mga traders na yan sa BIR, baka biglang makipag-cooperate din. Yes, but you can't do to that all the time. And even if you do audit, what if they pay their proper taxes? It doesn't solve the problem. It doesn't solve the problem na nagkakasabwatan silang lahat to raise the prices artificially. Basically, what we're saying here is that the commercial traders are getting their own, uh, it's like they are get to set their own prices. Bakit? Kasi dinidisempower natin ng NFA. Naiintindihan nyo ba kung ganong kaimportante ito? With a disempowered NFA, you have rice prices going through the roof. Not only that, who is going to provide the rice for calamity victims? The NFA is what is the agency that provides it to the DSWD. Binabayaran pa rin yan, but it is paid only at very, very low cost. So, what are you going to do without an NFA? Are you going to let the market control it when our traders have proven to be so unscrupulous they are willing to set rice prices really, really high? And not only that, now the NFA Council is becoming complicit because in April and May, basically that's what they get to do. Look, in about two years, the QR, the quantitative restrictions will be lifted from the country and importation will no longer be limited. Right now, ang nakaka-import lang basically is government and the NFA gives permits to certain amounts that are allowed to be imported and only during non-harvest season. And its purpose is so that the ano, so that it evens out the supply in the market at hindi tayo na uubusan ng bigas. Bakit? Pagka nagkaroon ng shortage, tataas na naman ang presyo ng bigas. So, we allow limited importation now. But two years from now, that importation is not going to be limited. And you know what's going to happen? The farmers who, will be, who are producing rice at a higher cost than that of the imported rate are going to suffer. And who said that we, we're going to lift the quantitative restrictions? It's really the NFA Council also. Sabi ni Matutis Lolando, it's about time to merge DA and NFA so that the strategy is one and the same. Napipinkian ang utak. I disagree. Because the, the, the NFA has to be about food security. But farmers, you have to protect farmers also sometimes at the expense of food security. So that's what's happening here. For instance, sinasabi ni Secretary Manny Pinyol, merong available na bigas at less than 17 pesos per kilo daw in the Visayas. The NFA checked and these are not the kind of rice that the NFA is allowed to buy. Kasi nga makukuha sila kung less than quality ang ibebenta. Furthermore, why would you buy at those prices when the farmers can command actually higher prices from the rice traders? So, yung mga ganyan, you have to balance the interests. You can't leave it all to a single agency to do that. There is a reason why hindi sila magkasama sa isang ahensya. Sabi ni Sara Mercado, so ibig sabihin kahit si PRRD ang presidente, ang bansa patakbo pa rin ng dilawan? Hindi. Ang nakakatakot dito is the people that the president has appointed to head these agencies and who are ex officio members of the NFA board ay siya mismo uh, hindi kasi sila pro poor. Hindi po si hindi po nila naiintindihan yung poverty anti poverty platform ng pangulo and even worse they don't care about the political backlash on our president. Bakit? Pag naghirap ang DNE, eh, ito ang political base ng ating pangulo. Pag pinahirapan mo sila they're going to change political loyalties. My problem with the people who are sitting in the NFA Council is they do not understand that hunger is a very real consequence of allowing the rice prices to be dictated by the traders. Sabi ni Ligaya Law, so what's the best solution? The president already provided the solution. The president said, import and import now. But what the NFA Council is doing, Sige, import kami, pero mamaya na. That way, they give a full two months to the rice traders to basically set their prices. Sabi ni, 
Dioneo Ananias. Hindi po ba pwede buwasan ang requirements para yung farmers makadirect sell sa palay nila sa NFA? Hindi. Kasi kung masyadong mataas, kunwari, ang, kung mali yung quality, okay, it has to do with moisture content and the quality of rice. Kung mali yung quality of rice, you will have only a limited period to stock your rice. And NFA needs to be able to stock its rice for a longer period of time. But also understand that you cannot always keep rice in stock. You have to keep changing that Uh, the, your, your inventory. Kasi mabubulok din yan. Natatandaan nyo ba si Dinky na naglibing ng mga bigas? Kasi hindi sila marunong mag-warehousing ng bigas. The pure amateurs who are handling that. The NFA understands this. So, kailangan continuous din yung pag-acquire at a certain ng, ng bigas. We want to buy from the farmers. Don't get me wrong. Pero, Currently, what is available, syempre ibibigay nyo sa mga farmers so that they can dictate the prices. NFA is limited nga. Gusto nin man natin na makabili ang NFA from the farmers, bakit nyo papayagan na malugi yung mga magsasaka natin? Sabi ni Glean, Gimoto, ba't ganyan naman sila gusto nilang mag-suffer ang taong bayan? I think this is their way of putting down the president. Ako, I agree with that. Sabi ni Sherlan, what if mawala ang NFA tapos yung mga commercial traders sa gusto na magkaroon ng suki pabayaan sila ng magpresyo? Then you will say, look at what's happening now. Walang bigas ang NFA or may baba yung stocks ng NFA. Look how high the prices are right now. Do you want that to happen? Hindi ako galit. I'm just arguing. Uh, sabi ni Jose Suniga, Mukhang mapapalaban dito ang Pangulo. Do you remember last year, dalawang beses nang kinampihan ng Pangulo ang NFA administration and the administrator? Bakit? Last year, gusto ng NFA Council i-extend yung period ng MAV, yung maximum access volume. Meaning, inaalaw nila yung mga private traders to import kahit panahon ng harvest. Ba pero bawal yon Ini-impose ng NFA administrator sana yung rule na walang, ano, walang importation during harvest except by the government. Kasi kung NFA ang mag import hindi naman yan pupunta dun sa market to compete with the farmers. Last year, gusto ng council mag-import kahit harvest season, e eh, maaapektuhan yung mga farmers. What did the president do? The president said no, no extension of the MAV. Kumampi na ang Pangulo. The President understands what is going on here, but he is not the head of the NFA Council. And the Council is going behind the President's back and undermining his authority. Sabi ni Rodel, pwede po bang tanggalin ni Pangulo lahat ng namumuno? Hindi po kakayanin masyado silang marami. What he can do is compel them to obey his order. Uh, sabi ni Maria, Kahandig. Pwede bang mag-negotiate ang government to seek help from one private sector to procure imported rice and sell it? No! No! This is a government-to-government -government transaction. If you're going to allow a private person, what are they going to do? Donate this rice to the government? They're going to import rice without a, without a markup? So you're basically asking somebody to impoverish themselves to import rice? Besides, nakalimit yung MAV ngayon. Importation is ano, is very very limited to the, from the to the private sector. Sabi ni Jacob De Vela, can we be accountable for delaying the order of the president? Yes. But it doesn't solve the problem that in April and May magkakaroon ng shortage. Na, na, na well, kakaroon ng zero stock ang NFA and there will be no competition. You think that rice prices are high now? They will get higher in April and May. Sabi ni Fifi, farmers should take this into their own hands, cut out the middlemen, let the local government regulate prices and supplies. The farmers aren't always empowered enough to do that. They have to transport to the market. Sometimes yung, yung ano nila, naiutang na nila. Yung, yung yung proceeds na hindi pa nabibenta na iutang na nila. So, yes, we want to empower the farmers, but right now they aren't empowered and it doesn't again solve the problem of April and May. Sabi ni Sara Mercado, the only so solution here is subsidi subsidize ang farmers. Subsidize na po yung iba. Uh, Mag-import ng rice at the moment, agree, pay the farmers with the price they're supposed to receive, but continue to import. Yung pinagbili, 
pinagbibili ng NFA authority na pabot sa mga nagpapahirap sa mong. Agree! Yun, tama yung sinasabi ni Ms. Sara Mercado. Subsidize and we have to empower our farmers. First of all, we have to ensure that our farmers are going to be capable of producing at a more efficient rate, lower prices, so that they will compete. Remember, in two years, we'll lift the quantitative restrictions, and our market is going to be flooded by imports from the private sector. Sabi ni, hindi ko mabasa yung name, isisisi na naman sa Pangulo, RRD, ang ginagawa ng NFA Council na yan, at saka napansin na dapat ng Pangulo yan. The President knows. The problem is, he cannot, hindi niya matututukan sa dami ng problema. Gusto ba natin lahat na lang ng ahensya na may problema, Presidente pa rin ang magpapatakbo? He already gave an order and the NFA Council is trying to undermine that order. Sabi ni Lottie, mm, ah, hindi ako nagbabasa ng mga out of topic right now, ha? Sabi ni Maria Angela Kahandi, the problem po is supply. So if you cannot get it from one avenue, that is why nga we're saying na government to government importation, that is the venue that is available. That is the venue that is allowed by law and that is the venue that the President approved. Not private importation. Bakit? Yung rice traders nga ang private importers din eh. Do you understand? Do you, itong, when you hear the term na meron kasing cartel, meron kasing, they both import rice and they are the ones who sell. At these are commercial traders. They will make money off the selling of rice. Sabi ni Manuel Sagum, attorney, uh, PRRD made instructions to put to import rice. NFA Council said yes, but not now. It seems those rich people wanted us na maguto mo na bago sila mag-import rice at you maman mo na ng two months ng mga private sectors. What will happen po ngayon kung di susundin ng council sa utos ng executive? May magagawa po bang executive nun? Yes. Actually, but it might have to be a political solution. My point here is that we need to get angry about this because this council doesn't seem to understand that we are worried also about our president who is going to lose a serious political base, the DNE sector. The DNE sector that is provided by, right, by cheap rice from the NFA. Some people have a very, very stringent budget. Na pag tumaas ang presyo ng bigas, minsan it was already priced beyond their reach. Pero dahil kailangan bumili ng bigas, they are going to have to make do with, without something. What if that without something is the price of transportation to getting to work? We're increasing instead of decreasing the poverty level in the country by being cavalier about rice prices. The government should create a derivatives market for rice so that farmers can lock in their price and profits the Chicago commodities market. Yes, it's a long-term solution, but I agree with that. Do you think the NFA administrator, there's only one administrator will still import rice kahit inayawan sila ng council and will listen to the president. The NFA administrator has made a statement before that he will abide by the order of the president. Uh, now, the problem is there seems to be a conflict between the council and the or the council's order and the order of the president. So we will see how the NFA administration is going to comply. They might have to look for uh, a middle ground. But we will see. Sabi ni Heidi Bores, sa amin sa Occidental Medora, ang mahal na mga binhi, abono at lason. Tapos ang bili lamang sa magsasaka, halos hingin na lang ang produkto. Ang ending, puro bayad lang po sa utang ng mga ani, minsan dugi pa dahil sa bagyo. I agree, and these are the rice traders. At hindi nakakatulong na nakapako yung presyo ng NFA at 17. Eh, ang NFA Council din ang hindi pumapayag na itaas yan eh. Bakit? Kaya, di ba, dapat nga bigyan natin more yung mga farmers. Kaya nga hindi rin natin, kung pwedeng mag-import ng NFA, i-import na lang. Kesha, bilhin nila ng mura dun sa mga farmers at malulugi yung mga farmers. Sabi ni Roland Conda, di kaya ang isa pang dahilan kung bakit mabilis maubos ang NFA rice dahil binibili rin ng mga uh, commercial 
rice traders at hinahalo nila sa magandang klaseng bigas. Yes. Uh, at kailangan po, merong enforcement tayo dito. Pero hindi ko uh, nakikita pa kung paano i-enforce yung ganun. Ganyan pa man, I agree, sometimes, yung mga rice traders din. In fact, one of the more extreme na suggestions ay dapat ang rice po ay sa ano na lang, isa, NFA na lang talaga ang tagabili ng lahat ng bigas para hindi na pinagkakakitaan. And we can assure uh, rice security or at least food security. Uh, from what I understand, uh, medyo predisposed to ganitong solusyon ng ating Pangulo. So we're going to see. Kaya lang, kailangan po yun ng legislation. And right now, nako, magsisenate investigation pa sa 27. Tignan natin kung hindi nila malihis ngayon yung discussion. Mamaya, malihis na naman, gawin na naman nilang parang BOC na iba yung, na, or fake news hearing na iba yung dinidinig pagkatapos nalilihis na naman sila. Sabi ni Dexter Yambaw, dahil lahat ng nasa kang sila yung negosyante and protecting their interests. Ano nyo posible yan? Because these are finance people with the exception of the NFA administrator. So, oo, alam na. Kasi tingnan mo, DOF, uh, Land Bank, Development Bank, uh, si Cabinet Secretary, National Treasurer. Diba? Lahat yan are finance people and they're more concerned about the business aspect of rice. In fact, kaya nila gusto i-lift yung quantitative, quantitative, quantitative restrictions dun sa importation ng rice. Sabi nila kasi bababa daw ang presyo dito. But you know, that's not true. You know what's going to happen? Is that dahil dito sa artificial increase in the prices of rice, masasana yung mga tao na ganyang kataas ang bigas kahit inordinate na yung profit margin ng mga traders. Kahit payaga natin, kahit i-lift natin yung restrictions, kahit maraming competition yan dun sa, sa market, the competition is also from other traders. And look what's happening now. They have, they're competing, supposedly competing with each other, but we just took the NFA out of the market. Tignan nyo, ang tataas na ng presyo ng bigas. So, sabi nila, sharing is caring, kaya pakishare naman daw itong video na to. Oo, I agree. Um, bakit kasi mahalaga po itong issue na to alam ko yung iba sa inyo nabubor kasi hindi po exciting ito katulad ng ibang mga kaso like the infection and all of that but it, it is as important because we're looking at a, a lot of people who are going to go hungry dahil tuma, tumataas ang presyo ng bigas bakit ayaw taasan ng NFA ang buying rate? hindi ko po alam only the council knows why sabi ni Dexter Yambao, if they lift the limits, they will kill the farmers. I agree. So, in two years, we'll have another crisis. A crisis of our farmers. So, yun lang po. For, for the moment, ang ano, ah, sabi ng, guys, you know, you're really going to have to have to put names that I can read. Mukhang minaman na obra naman ng NFA Council ng problema ito para tamaan ng Pangulong Duterte, remember what happened in Davao about rice smuggling na napatawag sa Senado si Mayor noon? Share everyone. I agree. Siguro nga, the President surprisingly understands this issue eh. Alam niya talaga itong issue na ito punot dulo pa lang. Dalawang beses na po siya na nag intervene sa mga decisions ng NFA Council. Twice na siyang nag-overrule ng decision ng Council. Pero wala pa rin. Parang ang tigas, ano? Sabi ni Aram, commercial rate is rate is at 55 pesos for local commercial rate. We're talking about 55 pesos per kilo, right? And then NFA rice is set at about 37 pesos per kilo. Medyo mataas na ngayon. It should be about 34. This is very important issue, sabi ni Sara Mercado, dahil rice is a staple food. It has to be attended to. I agree, but we need to talk about it. We need to get people to understand this and we need to pressure the NFA Council to reverse their decision. Masyadong delikado. What we will have to keep repeating. We're talking about 10 million people or for about 4 million households who are going to be affected by the prices of rice, particularly in April and May. Uulitin ko. Mga 10 million po ang maaapektuhan. We're looking at about apat na million households na maaapektuhan ng mga budget nila dahil sa pagtaas ng presyo ng bigas. 
hindi natin maaaring payagan po ito kasi nga po ito po rin ay isa sa mga pinakamalaking political base ng ating Pangulo. So there are two things that we worry about here. We're talking about national hunger rates that are going to go up at saka yung pag-erode ng political base at confidence dun sa ating Pangulo. Samantalang ang Pangulo naman ay gumawa ng tamang desisyon. Nag-order siya ng importation ng cheap rice dito sa NFA pero ang NFA Council po ina-undermine po ang, at ang desisyon ng ating Pangulo. We have to raise the alarm. Sabi ni Mary Ann Louder Milk, ang iba sa mga rice traders ang NFA hinahaduan sa bagong ani. Oo, kailangan din natin uh, i-attendan yung problema na yan. Pero right now, pressing itong fact na hindi nila napayagan ng rice importation. Uh, sabi ni Fifi Fanelli, turn the tables on the rice traders. NFA gets the best rice and sells it at 20 pesos. Alam nyo, gusto ko din yan. Um... Sabi ni Aida Padua, who is the governing body who implement the laws, we've already been talking about it, it's the NFA Council. Sabi ni Bebe Cante, bakit parang pataas ng pataas ang bilihan tapos yung maliliit na mga manggagawa katulad ng sewers, mga construction workers, hindi tumataas ang sahod. I agree, tapos tataas pa yung presyo na itong bigas. Nagkasabay-sabay nga po eh. Sabi ni Rufi Lokia, can you interview someone from the NFA Council tomorrow sa Karambola? I don't think, uh, the NFA Council was very clear kanina dun sa kanilang, ano, sa kanilang directive to the NFA administration na hindi dapat mag-issue ng kasalungat na opinion. Keep it to yourself daw kapag may, ano, pagkahintutol kayo dun sa decision ng council. Tama, sabi ni... Uh, Jobert Kilay, isisisi na naman sa train yan. Yan ang gusto nilang mangyari. Oo nga. Sabi ni Jamer, sa time ba ni President Marcos, hindi pa ba nag-exist ang NFA Council na to? Kasi dati parang sustainable naman na yung rice. Hindi po. In fact, it is a Marcos creation itong NFA. Anong pwedeng gawin para ma-pressure ang NFA Council? Mag-ingay tayo sa social media. We have to send letters to the, ano, the, the emails, whatever. Uh, ipopost natin dito. Uh, ang NFA Council, popost ko yung link dun sa, sa, sa wall ko dito sa Luminos. At sasabihin, lalagay ko dito pati yung mga phone numbers ng ating, ano, ng ating mga uh, members ng NFA Council. Pero pwede nyo po silang sulatan. Wala po silang nilalagay ng mga email addresses. How could the NFA Council understand? You can see their greediness about this. Is this alarming? Sana magunaw na sila. Ang Council po ba, sabi ni Dexter Yambao, may term of service sila meron. Iba-iba. Depende kasi ex-officio sila. So their term is uh, dependent on term of office in their agencies. Going back to Adoya administration, sabi ni Maria Town, nagkaroon ng malakihang smuggling ng rice at malaking tao ang backup. Baka sila pa din ang bumabalik ngayon, attorney, feeling close siguro. Siguro nga po. Sabi ni Leonor Makabugto, ang pagtaas ng presyo ng bigas sa hindi nakakaintindi na galit na sa ating nagalit na sa ating presidente. Thank you sa pagpapaliwanag. Sana mapanood dito ng marami. Opo, sana po nga mapanood ng marami. So, po, makikiusap lang po ako ngayon na share naman po itong live na ito. We have to raise the alarm. Uulitin ko po. Dahil nagsaslow down sa implementation ng order ng presidente ang NFA Council, we will have no NFA rise for the months of April and May. At doon sa mga months na yun, actually ngayon pa lang, dahil ano, nakikita na natin yung effects, Matata mataas ang presyo ng bigas ngayon. Expect them to rise higher in April and May with the traders virtually setting their own prices. Ang competition lang talaga ng ating mga rice traders is the NFA. At ito ang nag-provide ng cheap rice. Nag-order na ang ating Pangulo, import rice na, import cheap rice para hindi masyadong mataas ang presyo ng bilihin. At yung mga talaga na sa lower end ng, ng, ng ating lipunan, yung mga hindi masyadong may kaya ay magkakaroon ng access to cheap price. Ginagarantiyahan po ng NFA Council dahil sa kanilang desisyon ngayong araw na ito na hindi ito mangyayari. Na at least 10 million people po ang magugutom or 4 million households ang hindi po magkakaroon ng access dito sa murang bigas at mapipilitan bumili ng mas mahal na bigas. Anong mangyayari po dito? Increase in the poverty rate. Kasi 
nalululong lalo sa hirap ang ating mga ang taong bayan. Sabi ni Dina O'Brien, so oligarchs and detractors found a way how to weaken the president's popularity by using food, rice for that matter. It makes sense as well to distract all from the nonsense, i.e. I, Deng Vaksha. I agree, nagkakasabay-sabay po itong mga issues na ito. Uh, sabi ni Tony Del Prado, the solution is to import cheap rice. Yes, although we would like to emphasize that this is a temporary solution, we still want to work towards self-sufficiency, but we can do that only if we empower our farmers. We cannot force the NFA to buy from locally from our farmers because masyadong mababa ang procurement price ng NFA. Uh, Pakidistinguish lang ha, ang problema natin dito, sabi ni Joanna kasi Bartolome kasi sinasabotahin ng NFA ang administration ni Tatay Digong we have to make a distinction between the NFA Council and the NFA itself ang NFA itself nag-declare na noon pa na susunod sila dun sa utos ng Pangulo pero ang NFA Council po ang sumusuway sa ating Pangulo sabi ni Dexter why can't the DA create a cooperative that helps farmers na mamili ng sariling ani? Actually, ini-encourage po ang mga cooperatives uh, ang tingin ko lang is that kulang pa, hindi pa ganun kalaganap. Sabi ni Malu, Marlu Basnilio, mafia strike to discredit PRRD. Okay. Um, so at least na iintindihan na natin ngayon ang burgeoning issue. Pag i-discuss din po natin uli ito bukas sa Karambola, uh, DWIZ, 8 to 10 a.m. Uh, it will also be on Facebook Live. Ipopost ko dito sa wall ko. In the meantime, pakishare po ito. Yung hindi pa po nagla-like or follow dito sa Luminous by Trixie Cruz Angeles. Please do so. Tsaka please subscribe. Magbibigay po kami ng updates tungkol dito sa issue ng NFA all throughout the week. At uh, makikiusap lang po ako if possible, paki-discuss po ito at paki, ano, pakinagana po yung impormasyon na ang NFA Council po ay intent on defying the President's order to import rice because they're not going to implement that order immediately. What they're going to do is implement it at a later date and uh, essentially give a full good two months to the rice traders to set their prices and in the meantime, the NFA stocks are dwindling as we speak. Sabi ni Leo San Pis San Futalan, Sek Pinyol, what is his stand on the importation of rice? Right now, he says that he is for the importation of rice. Wala po tayong issue with Secretary Pinyol, except yung sinasabi niya na may available na cheap rice sa Visayas. Hindi po totoo yun, kasi yung quality ng available na cheap rice, hindi po i-allow ng COA na bilhin yun ng NFA. Among others. Ah... Sabi ni Chad Diked Nardo, baka naman po sa loob din mismo ng NFA Council, ang cartel holding the importation and letting the market traders control the pricing para kapag todo ng hirap, maghihirap, mas madaling maglabas ng ma galit kay PRD at isisi lahat sa train law. So, uulitin ko po, ang mga members ng NFA Council, kasi tinatanong ni So, Elmard, ang members, ay, ang head nito ay si Cabinet Secretary Leoncio Evasco, Uh, ang administrator who's the deputy chair, vice chairman si Lieutenant Colonel Jason Aquino uh, na siyang tumututol din po uh, of course he's not doing it openly pero alam natin na early on nag-declare na siya to follow the president's order uh, Banco Central ang third member uh, ang fourth member ay development bank chairman ng Development Bank of the Philippines ang um, fifth member is uh, The Land Bank, President of the Land Bank of the Philippines. Uh, the next is the Secretary of the Department of Finance, uh, the Secretary of the Department of Trade and Industry, the Secretary of the NEDA, the uh, National Economic and Development Authority, uh, and uh, one of the members is also Executive Secretary Salvador Medialdea. Merong isa pong member from the private sector na wala tayong problema, the, the Si Edwin Paraluman, who is the Farmer Sector Representative. So, yan po. Um, NFA Council, ikarambola na. Evasco, evade. Share po natin. Thank you po. Sabi ni Apple San Miguel, what if i-abolish ang NFA Council? I agree with that. Ito yung problema. We have to do it by law. It needs legislation. Uh, sabi ni Celia Abzona, who heads the NFA Council, Cabinet Secretary Leoncio Evasco Jr.
Sabi ni Aida Pado, can PRRD dissolve the NFA Council undermining his order? No, he cannot do that kasi it is created by law. Sabi ni Donsky, it might be part of their plan to topple the president. Yes, understand po ha, all of the members of the NFA Council are, are finance people and not necessarily agriculture people except for our farmers' representative. Hindi rin po represented sa NFA board ang ating Department of Agriculture. So, uh, yun lang po muna. We will answer, we will make postings of this on the wall dito sa Luminous at kukulitin po natin tong issue na to along with the other issues such as the Vaksha. Hindi rin po natin bbt yung ibang mga yun. So, uh, kung maaari po, makikiusap ako, please share and please discuss this issue with your friends. At, uh, Paki, ano na lang, pakisigaw na lang that the NFA Council should not try to defy the order of the President. Uh, may nagtanong, why is Evasco doing this? I think maybe it's only because he's misinformed. Ayoko po kasing isipin ng masama ang ating cabinet secretary because he's very close or used to be very close to the President. Though yun pa man, maliwanag po ang orders ng ating Pangulo. Import now. Pero yung ginagawa po ni CABSEC at yung council, except for the farmer's representative at saka the NFA administrator, ina-undermine ang, ang, ang orders ng ating Pangulo. The President understands this problem. Matagal na siyang may issue with uh, food security, kahit ng mayor pa lang siya. And uh, this is not something that he is uh, a stranger to, kumbaga. So maraming salamat ulit sa pagtangkilik dito sa mga Facebook Live. Kung maaari po, please share. Kung hindi pa po, po nag-click ng like or follow, please do so para makapag-subscribe po kayo to the Facebook Live. Kaya upload din po ito mamaya sa YouTube. So yung mga nanonood on YouTube, uh, doon na po sa channel natin i-upload ito. Maraming salamat po. We will answer your questions. We'll make more postings on NFA at hindi natin BPT-1 itong issue na to. In the meantime, maraming salamat po at magandang gabi.